Hello, this is uh, the Radio Prepper at radiopreppers.com and today we are going to uh, learn Morse code the right way. At least I'm going to show you how not to learn it uh, the wrong way, which I did. <laughs> so, And four years later I'm still uh, struggling with uh, copying at uh, speeds higher than 16 to 17 watts per minute. Uh, of course, uh, it is going to be Morse code pertaining to radio. Although, of course, there are many ways to use Morse code with flashlight or uh, laser pointer or tapping on someone's arm or you name it. Um, but this is going to be about radio. So I have my KX2 here, which is going to um, make the side tone so we can hear the uh, Morse code. I have my Kent key and three 18650 battery cells. So learning Morse code the right way. Um, it's easy to make a mistake and go too slow, which I did. I learned Morse code at about seven watts per minute and it was very, very hard to go beyond about 15 watts per minute, which is a, some kind of a threshold where your brain uh, deal with the code in a different way. One little detail I want to uh, talk about here. Morse, uh, Morse code. Morse comes from uh, the guy who uh, made it popular and invented uh, most of it. Um, there were uh, other attempts prior to him to, uh, to uh, create a code for a radio transmission. He's the one who has succeeded and uh, probably got the, uh, the, the most, uh, the best one. Um, I'm not quite sure, I'd have to read up on that. But Morse code is the code with the dots and dashes uh, that is used to uh, transmit messages on the radio. CW, CW is a mode. It's a digital transmission mode. It's continuous wave. So don't say that you uh, are learning CW because you can't learn CW the same way you can't learn FM or AM or any of those modes because it's just a mode. And a lot of people use them uh, interchangeably. Uh, I do too, even in my videos sometimes, but they're really uh, quite uh, different things. So let's try to keep them separated. So. Uh, we are going to talk about learning Morse code to use with CW. To give you an idea of the speed, I'm going to key my first name, G-I-L, first at 8 words per minute. Then at... 15 words per minute, then 25, 20, 20 words per minute, and 25. Whoops, I messed up. Nope. It's pretty hard when, when, uh, when you're not used to uh, key up at that speed. I'm used to 20 watts per minute maximum. 25 is a challenge. So, but the, um, the minimum speed I suggest that you learn the code at is 15, because at 15, uh, something happens, and I'm going to explain that. Uh, we'll start with my first name, G-I-L, which, if I write it down in code, will be Dash dash did 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 da did it da da did did it did da did it. You hear the rhythm there, and and that's the key. What happens if you learn the code too slow is that you're going to build a lookup table in your head, and you will be going from hearing the sound to picturing dash dash dot or d or da da did in your head then you're going to look up the corresponding letter in your head and that's going to be a g the problem here is that 
you have one, two steps. What you really want to do is to eliminate this part here so that you can di go directly from the sound to the letter. So when I hear, I see a G. I don't see dash dash dip and I don't want to see it because it's going to slow me down and I won't be able to go any faster than, eh, you know, 13, 14 words per minute probably. So I definitely want to hear the sound and hear the G. So try not to learn or at least not concentrate on uh, the dashes and the dots. I also suggest, and it might be pushing it a bit, but in my opinion, it's better not to write things down, uh, not uh, write the letters, because um, again, you, uh, you, that pushes you to kind of uh, have that lookup table and, and think about the dashes and the, the dots to convert them into the letters and write them one by one. Also, beyond about 15 words per minute, it's very difficult to write things down because it's just going too fast. So uh, the best um, thing to do, in my opinion, is to just hear the sounds, see the letters, and add them together to form words. Now, the problem here is a short-term memory problem. Once you know all the letters, all the, the uh, punctuation, the minimum punctuation that you need, uh, your problem is going to be short-term memory. We have slots in our short-term memories. Here I put five, but you know, most people probably have five or six or seven. Uh, that depends. Um, but if you hear, say, radio, R-A-D-I-O, you're going to add those letters in your short-term memory slots. And here, in this case, you shouldn't have any problem to, to hear those letters and, and make them into a word and see the word in your head. The problem comes when you have a longer word, say, 8, 10, 12 letters. By the time you get to the end of the word, you'll have forgotten the beginning. And, that's <laughs> and then you miss, you miss a word. Uh, so the only thing you can do is either do some exercises and extend, add slots to your short-term memory so that you can get the beginning of a word and say if you get six or seven letters, you can pretty much guess what the word is going to be. And you can even confirm the word by checking what the last letters are. And you might be missing one or two letters in the middle, but uh, you'll guess what the word is. So the speed you should be aiming to uh, master is a minimum of 15 words per minute. And of course, if you can do 20 or 25, so much the better, but 15 words per minute word speed is about the correct speed to have a nice conversation without dragging it on and People get frustrated and uh, it just takes too long. Uh, I do suggest, however, that you use at least 20 word per minute for the uh, character speed. So basically, if I set here my speed to 20 words per minute and I play radio, that's 20 words per minute. I could slow down to about 15 words per minute, but still using 20 words per minute character speed. Whoops. Okay, radio. Uh, that was probably 16, maybe, maybe 17. Uh, I can go slower than that. But you see, it still takes a lot of time. So, of course, the best way is to be 20, to use 20 words per minute for everything. 
and that's the best way to go. So, uh, but at a very least, uh, do not go below 15 watts per minute and use 20 watt per minute characters. Okay, now, uh, if you do want to write things down, you know, because sometimes uh, it's just more practical or, or for a long message, uh, one thing that I highly suggest you do also is that if you miss letters, let's say I get the R, I get the A, I miss the D, and I miss the I. Maybe there's some uh, interference or I get distracted or whatever. Well, do not try to replay what you heard in your head. Because if you do that, by the time you replay the message in your head, you're going to be way down there and you're going to miss a whole lot more after that word that you're trying to remember. So what you want to do is if you write things down, write down the R, write down the A, write down two dashes, just, you know, blanks, and then write the O. Later, when you go back and you read your, your, your text, you're going to figure that out. I mean, it could be ratio, I guess, but I mean, given the context, you're going to, uh, to guess what the word is most likely. So I'll uh, recapitulate. First, use 20 word per minute character speed. That's the uh, length of the uh, dashes and dots. Do not learn below 15 words per minute. That's the word speed, meaning the overall speed of your sending or receiving. Hear the sound, see the letter. Do not build a lookup table in your head with the uh, dots and dashes. That's going to slow you down way too much. If you can, avoid writing things down. Do not replay letters you miss in your head because you're going to miss a whole lot more. Uh, here I need to mention the uh, core, I think that's the right pronunciation. Uh, so the core or Kosh method, uh, which is to learn uh, first a couple letters together and then add letters as you go. I also want to mention the lcwo.net website, which is a great website to learn Morse code and it's uh, on your browser. Uh, they have exercises, they have a lot of stuff that, uh, that really works. Of course, uh, go to radioprappers.com. We have a bunch of great people there, a lot of them interested in uh, Morse code and exercise your short-term memory, which I, I almost forgot to write, uh, of course. So exercise your short-term memory. And uh, that's it, guys. Uh, one uh, last thing before uh, we're done here. Uh, I used uh, a couple apps uh, to learn Morse code on my phones. The first one I started with was on the iPhone, and I think it's called... Ham University. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. The one I have on my Android right now is KMT Pro and both uh, give you the uh, uh, possibility of playing the news in Morse code. So you plug in uh, what's called an RSS feed. Uh, it's just a link. Uh, you save that and uh, you can download the, uh, the titles of the main news for the day. And that's really a good way to uh, to uh, speed up your uh, head copy uh, speed. And don't forget, it's going to be frustrating. Sometimes you, uh, you'll wish to uh, just uh, stop and go do something else, but uh, just keep at it. You know, uh, it, it, some days it's just not going to work and, and nothing is going to, uh, uh, to get in. But... Uh, just keep at it and uh, don't hesitate to go on the air too. Uh, if you're at 10 watts a minute, you know, just go ahead, make some calls, uh, don't worry about it. Um, as I said, try to be at least at uh, 15 watts per minute, even if it uh, takes you longer to, uh, to learn the code that way. 
uh, don't go down to uh, 7 10 watts per minute because it's easier just just don't do it please don't do it, it it's not going to help you it's going to be a problem later I, I know that that's what I did um, so uh, that's it um, we are done with this and uh, don't forget to check radiopreppers.com there are many threads on learning Morse code there and uh, you might uh, find things that I forgot to put on this video so thank you very much for your time and uh, have a good one